Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We are about to hit the road, but this hotel does offer free continental breakfast, so we're gonna go eat for free. I'm not sure where the kitchen is. Maybe it's in here? Look at this, they have actual honeycomb. This is probably the best meal I've had in months. Look at this, we got honeycomb and grapes and meat and eggs and tomatoes and meat and hummus. Oh, let's try the honeycomb first. It's very sweet. Mm. That was great. I had honeycomb for the first time today. That's pretty cool. It's hard to describe, but it, it's got the texture like you're eating honey with like a plastic wrapper still in it. Like you're chewing on a plastic wrapper. Okay, well, fuck. I am pretty sure it's going to snow. It's got that feeling. Okay, so it's not going to snow, but it is going to rain at noon. We have a 100% chance of rain and it's going to be 32 degrees. I can handle riding in the cold, but I don't think I want to ride in the rain, especially when it's this cold outside. Yep, it is starting to rain. First thing I got to do is cover my bike. I'm pretty sure it's just out in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah, I'm just going to push her into this shed right here. I'm pretty sure all of the things here are sort of waterproof. I just don't want to test that. This is much better. I want to extend my stay by one night. No. Okay, so they are booked up and I cannot extend my stay. Fuck. This is going to be fun. It looks like checkout is at 12 p.m. So we have about two and a half hours left here. I'm not sure if it's going to get worse or better. If you think I just spent two hours in the bathtub, you would be right. We have about 20 minutes left in the room and I'm still charging up my laptop. So I'm just going to chill here and look out the window while it rains. Google says it'll only be raining for another hour or so. So <sighs> fun. Oh, I did weigh myself. I weigh 139 pounds. I'm a little bit worried that the straps are going to break carrying both batteries and my Diet Coke. So I'm using my shoulder to help carry it. Uh, one of the batteries fell out, made a really loud bang. Um, I hope it didn't break. If my bike explodes, that's probably why. <sighs> How much you guys want to bet we slip while we're riding today? Luckily, the tires are pretty new, so they should have a lot of traction. I get the feeling we're going to be camping tonight. Oh yeah, there's cracks all the way down the case. That's not a good sign. Uh, update, my laptop holder broke off. And I don't mean like, like the, the bolt got stripped and so the bolt literally broke. Fucking hell, the bolt is broken and it's stuck in there and I can't get it out. Obviously there's nothing for me to grab onto on this side because it broke off. So I'm trying to reach around back with the pliers and see if I can't twist the back of the bolt, even though there's no head on it. It's just stuck because I used fucking thread locker on it. So it's not coming out. Okay, so I cannot get it out of this hole, but I noticed that there's two holes where the kickstand is. I might be able to pull these screws out, put this right there, and then screw the screws back in, and then just have the laptop attached to the kickstand. Holy shit, I am so glad I brought all of my tools. This would be, I would be very fucked if I didn't. Okay. First, I need to lean the bike up against that wall because once I take the kickstand off, it's gonna wanna fall over. My stuff's getting all dirty, fuck. Oh, there's dog poop right there, okay. Really hope this works. I need to carry my laptop with me. And it's just a crazy coincidence that the holes line up perfectly. Of course, we're gonna put thread locker on it because that's what we do. And you guys thought we were done with the bike work videos. We're never done with the bike work videos. Never. Okay, there we go. My laptop holder is now attached to my kickstand. That'll probably hold. There won't be any problems with that. Let me make sure this, yep, still works. Good, there we go. I'm sure that there is no way this could be a problem. This is some top tier structural engineering. Okay, I tightened her up. <laughs> Let's see if it falls off. Any bets? Any bets on if this falls off midway through the ride? Let's find out. I'm not sure if you would consider this fortunate or not, but it seems like over that time while we were trying to fix the laptop bag, it stopped raining. Let's go. We have 133 miles to go. I'm worried that every time I kick my kickstand, I'm going to kick my laptop and that that's going to get in the way of my standing the bike up. I cannot help feeling like I forgot something. Like I forgot to make sure something was properly attached or make sure that I'm carrying something. I've got that feeling. Regardless, the roads look real slick right now. I'm realizing that there's a lot of puddles on the ground and all of the stuff near the wheel is going to get super wet, like my backpack and my laptop. My laptop is going to get soaked. Mm -hmm. 
This is what I was worried about. It's gonna send me down bad roads. They're gonna be fucking invisible because they're covered with water. I'm hearing a clanking of metal behind me. I hope it's not my backpack. It definitely is my backpack. You'll remember my backpack is held on with one screw the same as my laptop was. So the problem my laptop just had, my backpack will probably have soon too. I gotta fix that. Same thing as before though, future Nate problems. God, this would be such a cool place to set up camp. Sophia is 112 miles away. Okay, so bad news. I noticed that we've only gone like 23 miles and we were already like more than halfway done. So I checked the batteries. This one that we dropped earlier today, it's not even connected at all. Oh, well that's why. It was literally not even in the fucking... <laughs> okay, so now both batteries are connected. But that does bring up a point is that you don't know whether both batteries are connected or not. You just put them in there and you hope they're connected. Um, yeah, we've got full battery now. So this one is like 30% left. This one has 100% left. I wonder if there is a way for me to wire this up so that like I'll hear a bell or something if one of them isn't connected. Just something to let me know that both of them are not running. I'm gonna think about that. Okay, I'm looking at the map right now and it looks like we're basically going uphill for the next like 50-ish miles. I'm not sure if we have enough battery to actually do that and I really don't want to get stranded in the mountains because I don't have a solar panel right now. Yeah, not sure if you guys can see this, but basically we're going straight up. This is so frustrating. I can't stop at a coffee shop to charge the batteries because by the time we're done at the coffee shop, it'll be pitch black outside. There's not enough daylight for me to actually ride, charge, and ride again. I only get one ride and one charge. We've only traveled 40 miles today. I would say we have maybe 25% battery left. I don't want to get another fucking hotel room. We're spending like fucking $40 a night on these things. Do you guys know what range anxiety is? It's a term that people use for electric cars where people are worried to take their electric cars on road trips because they don't want to get stuck in the middle of the desert and not be able to charge. I've never had that worry with these bikes because I have solar panels. I have that worry now. Oh, but hey, Google Maps says there is a Turkish restaurant around here. So we're gonna go there. Directions, yes. During the summer, I could wake up, ride a lot, charge my batteries, ride some more, and then charge my batteries again, and it would still be daylight outside. I believe this is it. Okay, now we get to test our little kickstand. Where'd the kickstand go? Come on. Don't break, please. Are you guys open? Yes. Oh, um, do you guys sell uh, Lama June? Lama June? Lama June? No. no. Okay, thank you. Google Maps literally says they have Lama June on the menu. Motherfucker. Fine, fuck it. It's not worth risking going up into the mountains and getting stranded. We will get a place to stay tonight. $31 for a deluxe queen room. It's 3 p.m. and the sun is already at the horizon. Oh, wait a minute. The apartment that I booked is literally like right there. <laughs> That's cool. We will go ahead and grab some food before we head over there though. Here we go. It's a place called Pizza Calypso. Um, there's no pictures. So the pizza that I want, it says it's 5,30 lev. I'm not sure if that's 53 or if that's 5.3. They only take cash. I would have cash on me, but I didn't think I was gonna be in Bulgaria this long because I thought I would be in Turkey by now, so I didn't replenish. I could go to an ATM machine and then come back, but I don't want to patron places that don't support cards. I'm just gonna go somewhere that will let me use my card. Oh wait, there's a bank right there. I could probably just withdraw some money. It's, it's worth it. I'll get some money and then go back. This bank does not have an ATM machine, which is odd. We're just gonna go find another restaurant then. If I see an ATM machine along the way, we'll stop there, but if that doesn't happen, we'll only go to restaurants that support my card. Well, look at that, I found a bank. So we could go back to that original pizza place, but I'm fine, we'll go somewhere else. They gave me $100 bill. I was hoping I would get a couple smaller ones. I've actually been in Bulgaria for over a month and this is the first $100 bill I've ever seen. Like I thought that the highest denomination they had was 50. And I've had people complain that I was giving them 50 before. I think 100 is gonna be really hard to break. That definitely sounds like a them problem though. And it's starting to rain again. I'm kind of glad I decided to get a place to stay rather than trying to ride through this. 
There's a little food truck style pizza place, but I can't read the menu. Google Translate for the win. I am ready to order. Do you speak English at all? Okay. Uh, can I get, I think it's called Matt. I can't, I literally Wait. cannot read this. Cola Fanta. Uh, do you have Cola Zero? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zero, no. No, okay, yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. They had no problem breaking the hundred. We have to wait here for them to make it. Okay, we got the pizza. It's big, it's too big to fit on my bike, so I think we're just gonna eat it here. It's got big globs of cheese. Mmm. This is really good. The owner was sweet enough to throw the box away for me. The owner sent me a message and says that the a place that we booked has like a code on the door, so I don't think they'll even be there. I think we just let ourselves in. It says we're here, but I don't see anything that looks like an apartment. Okay, I think it wants us to come through this alley. I think it wants us to go up those stairs. I've never actually tried going upstairs with this bike before. Let's see if it's easier than with my bike. This bike has the weight more evenly distributed between the front and the back. So it might be harder, honestly. Come on, come on. Nope, I cannot get it up the stairs. Then again, I'm not even sure what good it would do because I'm not sure if they let me bring my bike in there. I'm gonna leave the bike here while I investigate. Oh, is it in there? Oh, perfect, thank you so much. Good thing I didn't put all that work into getting it up the stairs. Yes, okay, here we go. I'm still not sure where I would put my bike. They have a password. Oh yeah, I guess I could bring a bike right here. Yep, the entire thing is automated. Huh, yeah, I guess it's fine. Oh, it's got a nice balcony. Hmm. Oh, it was pretty nice too, actually. This place was $31. Let's go ahead and move the bike over here. I just left it on, all my stuff in the bags. God damn it. Okay, now for the fun part, the stairs. So we will switch to this camera and then go down the stairs very gently. Go, nope, nope. I'm grabbing onto the handle and the handle is also the throttle, so it wants to just like take off. Come on, okay. Fuck, gotta open the door. Stay there, bike. If you fucking, if you fucking move, I'm gonna be pissed. Fucking fucker. Tomorrow, I will pull the bike out of here before I load up all of the bags and the batteries just so it's lighter. I feel kind of shitty. Like, I've stayed in rooms for three nights in a row and I know that you guys wanna see me go camping. You wanna see me like fucking throw up my tent. I don't have a good excuse. I just prefer to be comfortable. This door literally has a fingerprint sensor in it. Is that used? Like, I feel like that's way overkill for something that a key can do. Come here, key, give me. Like, what good does a door with a fingerprint sensor actually do that a master key doesn't? No, and also, look at this, okay? Totally automatic, right? The door doesn't even close all the way. I have to manually come in here and like physically Look at this, wait, what? The deadbolt is out, it can't close. And I don't have a key, so I can't close it. The door is literally locked open. This is what you get when you try to automate everything. Now anybody can come in. I, what the heck? Like, as a software engineer, that is entirely what you would expect if you try to automate shit. What the fuck? I'm walking around trying to find a place that'll sell me Diet Coke, and I cannot find any. I found a couple pharmacies. I found some pups. You guys look a little mangy, don't you? <laughs> when I was getting the Coke Zeros, the cashier, she looks at them and she asks me, she's like, these are the ones without sugar, right? No sugar, no sugar. I'm like, yeah, I know. She's like, okay, no sugar. That's the point. That's why I'm getting it. Let's see if the door is still unlocked. Look at that. Look at how good this automated system is. That fingerprint sensor is really putting in work. My door, on the other hand, actually is locked. I do need the key to open my door. 
Okay, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I plan on leaving really early in the morning so that we can get over the hill and possibly charge the batteries again. I want to get there by tomorrow. I don't know what we'll do when we'll get there. I need to find a place to store the bike so that I can get on a bus and drive back, get the other bike and then drive over. There's a lot of things that I need to still figure out logistically.